What's up? Welcome back to Fort Malthus Place Spellcaster University. Let's do some dungeoneering, shall we? Okay, let's see who we got here. First of all, let's do some frontline necromancers. Got a five star here, five star here. We got extra health, extra damage. Interesting. Do we have any people with sacred magic? We do. But they are also like good at everything else. So let's go ahead and use you. And then we'll go ahead and use uh, an enchantment. Do we have somebody who's good at enchantment? You are useless. What about elementals? Okay. We can use you. You are a level 4 necromancer, though. Ah, screw it. It's fine. I never run three necromancers with a sacred magic user, but... Oops. Just clicked on the wrong metal. Free crypt. We don't need a high-risk waffle maker. I would take a all-in-one cult for them. Okay, so these guys all have shields. It's gonna make them a whole lot easier to kill if they don't. Three cultists. It's fine. <laughs> this might be a loss. Woo! Okay, we're gonna lose somebody. Oh, it's hung up on it. Oh shit. We might wipe the party here. Nope. Boom. Nope. Boom. And we're leaving. Oh jeez. Not the this is not a good university for dungeon diving. Why are my people all exhausted? Did I do something wrong? Like, did I, did I, do, did I don't realize or something? Give me that criticality, criticality prism. Amillary sphere. Don't care about any of you guys. Another glory. I'll give me another private bedroom. I'll upgrade that one. Before it even finishes coming up. Okay. As long as we have one Philosopher's Stone, we're good to go. Which we do. Everyone's going into one house. I can guarantee you we're going to get our last few, or our, wait, we need one more minion. I'm going to go ahead and go in here and set everyone back to all. We're not going to accept any more students, because we don't need them. Ooh, silver. Thanks. Uh, we're just going to let it play out. Stadium, your factory. Okay, there's our last minion. Gladiator, great. Rules, fine. What a vampire camp, damn. A minion that's not involved with our other thing. It's kind of funny. Okay, we just gotta keep an eye on that. Boom. Boom. Yay, three stars. So we'll just kind of let it play out here. And we'll see 
what all we get when we get graduates. For those of you uh, who have decided this episode is the one that I'm sure another stadium is fine. <clears throat> this is going to be your first episode. Okay. Why don't you... Anyway. Uh, so, basically the reason why we're stopping taking students is if you look at the top bar here, they just won't have enough time to learn anything. And so the only things we'll get from them is mana. And we don't really need mana, as you can see by this bottom right area where we're just letting it go, because... We have a lot. We don't need to talk to anyone. We're literally about to run out the clock. Lots of, lots of stuff here we don't really need. Okay, let's do some graduates. Royal Guard's good. Time Monk, great. Time Traveler. We're basically looking for anything with a permanent buff. Which is great. One time I had enough uh, librarians that I always got the boost, and it was it was pretty dope. This is one of those ones you can get super like if you accept people late in the game, but as you can see, it only gives you 0.5 percent, so it's not not exactly efficient. It's gonna give me anything on that one. It's a little tedious, but uh, if you just auto accept it, you're really hurting yourself. This is something you don't get every day. Slow and necromancy too. See, it's like so random, you know, like for this one, all you need is total magic five and uh, chaotic. Assassination one, sacred magic one. Guard, total magic, heroism and create, uh, courageous. You have nothing good to get. Which is Necromancy 5 and Evil. There are a ton. Let me just let me just reiterate this. There are a ton of professions in this game. But some of them are like nearly impossible to get. And if you don't realize that, when you select your you know, desired profession at the beginning of your map, you can screw yourself over so hard. Because it's like Oh yeah, we need to have, like, these two specific skills, level 4. Plus you need to have this one tiny alignment and one tiny sub, you know, sub-trait. And it, you can just get screwed so hard and not even realize it. Because you're like, oh, I can train those two skills super easy. Because it only shows you what's two skills. It doesn't show you all the other contingent things that you have to have. Hero, it's not bad. Eh. Turtle. So we are officially on to the last map. 
Let's see what we got here. Increases room efficiency for every explosion that's happened. Arm of darkness 5% slower. And rune efficiency. Damn. Okay, so this map. I was hoping to not talk about it until after we got in it. But so the big book of runes or great book of runes is is amazing. If you like alchemy, don't mind getting pigeonholed and have a lot of room to build because you always have to have one slot taken up by a rune factorum or scriptorum on every single level. <sighs> I guess we'll take this one. I mean, none of them are good. A hundred shadow mana is nothing. I think that's like one rune card, maybe. Um, and then... 3% anytime somebody causes an explosion, I guess could build up over time. This is a non-starter on this map, so... Ah! Interesting. We could do this one. Students will automatically start a fire whenever they get there, thus increasing the room efficiency. Or students lose sanity faster. So this map also has the downside of there's a very long time between when a student leaves the university because of lack of resources and when they come back. So we need to be careful with that. So let's just do this one. We'll try to get some Void Potions going. Okay. Special map. We are on the back of a giant turtle. This is very Stephen King, uh, you know, uh, it type thing. Basically, we have two win conditions. We can fulfill different quests, and we can draw cards. If you draw cards, uh, you have to get one special card from each deck. Once you get all five, you win. Or... You can um, do, like, progressively harder little challenges. I don't like either of these. This is my dump house, hopefully. This sucks. Uh, sucks so bad. Could do well behaved to help with the. Uh, I'll, I'll just have to try to get a third house. White sleeper's at least good. Okay, teacher's lounge is really good. Arcade room's necessary. Another bedroom, I suppose. And a shadow room. At least we have two mana generators. I'm going to build over, and then I will build up. We've already hit the hard end of our castle over here. That's it. That's that's why a rune script form is bad on this level. Um, okay, but at least we have some support for our people. See, they have to come through this portal, and they have to walk all the way over here, and then it's just shitty. But we got a big turtle friend. Hi, turtle friend. Uh, I would like money. Damn it. Sure. Give me another dorm. It's not annoying or anything. At least our teachers will keep teaching for a while because they've got we've got all the basics, we just don't have the mana. Uh grab this. We already had Shadow, we already had Arcade. But now we got two, at least. So this is the increasingly hard thing. So, like, basically just 
works for each one. Thousand shadow mana, thousand arcane, or uh, alchemy, gold, and you know, blah blah. blah. And you can only do the ones that you have done the maps for. So, like, uh, let's see. Uh, we did the dwarf map. We did the zombies. So we can do those two. And if we get the rep, we can do these ones too. We need light mana. God. Yeah. Anyway. Sure, we'll be friends with the orbs. We don't need to worry about our stars in this one. How much money do we have? We need 200 and then we can go get... Sneaky Merchants. Classroom. Light. Like a temporal room. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to go the route of doing the quests. So we're just gonna save up mana. First, we gotta get the rooms. Gross. We get some money. Once we get 200, we can go buy another classroom. Damn it. Whatever, I don't care. I don't have the time or money to be doing with this. Screw it, we will go to the king. Private apartments. We don't have anything draining stamina, so I'm not going to get one. We've got a teacher's lounge, and we've got a bright refectory. New house? Diligent? Okay. And gourmet? That's fine. This will be our new house. I will definitely take the ability to make potions. Take a trophy room. You can put it right here. Take the owl. What are we missing? Alchemy. Nature. One thing that's nice about our current build is that Shadow Mana gets you those spiders. But I will gladly take a bunch of mana. Leveraging our ability to get shitloads of gold from the king. Spellbook. Uh, just in case something happens, here's an infirmary. I don't want our people to have to leave. This will slow him down. Go ahead and grab that. That's one of the five cards we need to win. If I get it, I will take it. But I'm not planning on that being our win condition.
It's very random. Oh. Let's do prison. Do we have any room for it? Not right now. Yep, another spell book. That's fine. Two of them. Take a mellow wing. More students. Go ahead and save up a thousand mana. We have the mo nope. We have the money to buy a classroom, nature room, big dog. Now we got prison. Nice. No, we don't have the shit for your kids. We're almost at a thousand. Doing good. Now we can save up. Also, now that we got a spider, we'll actually, like, you know, be able to get non generic. Okay. Boom, one down. Okay, we didn't do the lake monster, so we can't do that. We didn't do the trolls, so we can't do that one. Make friends with the guild and give them money, or have 60 students. And. Uh, that will cause us... That's the one we have to do. Like, just flat out. I don't want to pay for you. If we aren't saving up mana, we just need to be drawing cards. I'll take the rep with the pheasants, because I believe one of the wooden munitions requires it. We gotta move fast on this one. I'll take a hero's chapel just to have more mana gen. Let's go talk to the king for money. Okay, I'll take a dorm. I'll take an alchemy. Damn it, I clicked the wrong one. So clean up after the kids since they're misbehaving more. Uh, we need this to build up in case we need rep with them. We'll have to fight. At least we have the infirmary. Okay, elementalist dojo. Child eating bed. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to leave it here for this episode. And I will see you next time. And hopefully we'll get most of the way through this one. We'll probably hit a dungeon or two. Yeah, so. I'll see you then. And I'm so happy you guys have been watching. Thanks.